I want to talk to you about something that's been around, I don't know, not brand new, about 3,000 years, oriental medicine. I practice it in my practice and there are thousands and thousands of practitioners who are good. I was trained by the American Academy of Medical Acupuncture and they've trained thousands of uh, MDs and DOs and dentists to do acupuncture. But the great thing is that oriental medicine gives you a window to look at people that just doesn't exist in conventional Western medicine. Let me start with the diagnosis. Well, we look at the tongue. If the tongue is really full and fat and it's got ridges on the side, it means that people think a lot or don't sleep well. If their tongue is coated with white, it means they probably have fungus. If their tongue is long and pointy and skinny, it means that they're hyper. So the tongue alone gives me a lot of information. So every patient has to stick out their tongue so I can look at it. Also, I look at the way that their pulses show up and I take their pulse at their wrist and there's three different points on either side. One is the heart and small intestine, then the liver and gallbladder, then the kidney and adrenal gland. And on the other side, there is the large intestine and lung, the stomach and spleen, and the central nervous system. In Oriental medicine, there's different words that they use, but that's the basic idea. But at the very heart of it, where I live, there is the acupuncture needle. This little tiny device, this little tiny tool is very, very skinny on one end and a little bit fatter on one end. And it acts like an umbrella. And where it touches the skin, it starts to pull energy up out of the body and then radiate it out. Unless you collect energy from an electron or an electrode that puts the energy in on this fat part and puts it into the body and the skinny part. The greatest thing about all this is that 100 years ago, nobody really knew. Mm, is it just kind of a magical thing or is there really any science to it? 100 years ago, nobody knew. But since that time, in Canada and Germany and all, other, all places all over the world, people have actually dissected out the acupuncture points and found that there are tiny little veins, arteries, and nerves diving under the skin at the point of the acupuncture point. And there's 1,500 classical ones and thousands more that have been developed. So acupuncture is an amazing scientific truth that's based on oriental principles that ties together all of conventional medicine with all of Eastern medicine or oriental medicine. So when you're offered acupuncture, make sure the person that you get it from is very well trained and make sure that the uh, acupuncture needles that you're getting uh, in, your, in your skin are sterile. But beyond that, it's very hard to hurt somebody with acupuncture and it's been done for, like I said, 3,000 years.